You've already made the right choice. You're deciding to go into radiology. It's, uh, it's an exciting time and a bit of a scary time. Uh, you go from being an intern, by the end of your internship year, you know what you're doing, you're on top of, the, on top of your game, and then you start a, a, sub, a, a re residency like radiology, and all of a sudden you're clueless again. And that happens every month when you go from rotation to rotation. So it's a bit challenging, but everybody was very supportive. Uh, the, I found the instruction here to be really top-notch. Um, people took the time to teach, uh, and people were very encouraging. There's so much to learn, um, much more, many things that you didn't even realize that existed. Um, and that's part of the, the, the challenge, and that's also part of the, the exciting things about doing radiology training. Because you want to be in a place where you can actually take ownership of your education, where you can take ownership of improving the environment where you get to work, and you get to work in a place that respects you for what you're delivering. Stanford is a fantastic place to come and train. Um, I think that we have an unparalleled combination of sort of clinical excellence, um, teaching, um, and academic research that very few programs can compete with. Yeah, I, so I did my medical school in Michigan, so it was uh, quite a change going from the freezing cold of Michigan to the beautiful sunny skies of California, um, but I knew when I got here that it was the right choice. Living in the Bay Area has been great because the weather is amazing, you have oceans and mountains, there's so much to do within just a few hours, and it's just a great place to live. Um, you get to practice at all these different sites like the VA, Lucille Packard Children's Hospital and Stanford and also some rotations in Santa Clara Valley so you have a great diversity in terms of your practice locations. It's rare to find a place that has so many people who are so accomplished, that are so brilliant and yet so approachable uh, and genuinely kind and caring at the same time. Um, I think that's what really makes this a, a very special place. The people make Stanford the best place to work um, on the West Coast. We're lucky enough to have the leading edge technology of all the major vendors here, and including development um, projects with many of the vendors. So, uh, so for example, we have four PETAMARs within a three or four mile radius. In particular, also in radiology, we are an extraordinarily technical field. Everything we do touches technology. Being here in the valley and uh, Stanford's long-standing relationship with some of the vendors. We get all the best and newest machines, um, but there's also people working on the machines for the future, and that's right here in our department. So um, it's, it's a very exciting place to be. So really, whatever your interest is um, in radiology and in medicine, and even outside of medicine, you can find it uh, at Stanford University. It's such a you know, fantastic university, uh, known around the world. Uh, there is such a, just a close, close in proximity uh, between the, the powerhouses, electrical engineering, computer science, uh, literally uh, a five minute walk away uh, from the hospital. Uh, and it's just such a uh, fantastic program here. One of the great things about Stanford is that we are situated here on the main campus of a major university. I would say that we are constantly innovating, that our faculty and our fellows and our residents are constantly uh, advancing clinical research, advancing laboratory research, and advancing clinical care. Every day we strive to provide the best care possible. One of the unique things about this place is that we are such a big research enterprise um, that we have multiple uh, research imaging centers, um, including the Lucas Center, uh, and there are, there are multiple others like Amy and IBIS. Uh, Stanford is, is put a lot of effort into imaging research, and that includes uh, things like not only just traditional imaging, but molecular imaging. Uh, and um, so yeah, so from a technical point of view, the resources here are, are well, I wouldn't say limitless, but uh, they're quite extensive, uh, more than you will find almost anywhere else. <laughs> Um, I know in terms of research funding, uh, Stanford Radiology is always in the top three uh, in terms of NIH research funding uh, in, in the country. So um, yeah, it's really, it's a fantastic resource. I think that um, there's actually so much technology 
that Stanford is access to or would be able to get access to that it's overwhelming actually and really exciting. Um, the other thing that I have seen that's very exciting at Stanford is high intensity focused ultrasound, which is a technique where basically uh, you're using an MRI machine to locate areas inside the body, say like a tumor, and then you're using ultrasound waves that are very concentrated as a beam um, to focus um, energy and deposit it in a pinpoint sort of precision inside the body in that location where the tumor is. So you're basically burning a point inside the body without making any incisions. Uh, we rely on positron emission tomography, which is, it's mind-boggling interesting. It sounds like we use matter, antimatter, and you create uh, photons, and we use that to localize where there's disease in the body. So that is just amazing technology. On CT scans, we can look at uh, the lungs, the resolution of about uh, hundreds of microns. Uh, and, and so now we're seeing diseases in, in many different ways than it was ever possible even just a couple of decades ago. We are really on the front lines of actually trying to pioneer new technologies. Uh, we're looking at quantitative ways to measure diseases in, on chest CTs. We're using artificial algorithms, intelligence algorithms to detect and measure disease. Uh, and so there's a lot of exciting new things that happen uh, that we're really in a unique position here in an academic center here at Stanford to really advance. I think Stanford was pretty cutting edge and remains pretty cutting edge in how it uses electronic health records and how it integrates them into the workflow. Just making sure the right information again gets to the right people at the right time without being a burden in terms of documentation. Even though you're part of the Stanford radiology residency and radiology community, when you get here, you don't have to be confined to that. Our residents have worked with, for example, um, bio, have done fellowships with bioengineering. Um, they've participated in leadership programs like the Leadership Excellence Advancing Diversity Program, the LEAD program. Um, there's a whole community here at the Medical Center, but then also on the Stanford campus as a whole. And like, Literally, the sky is the limit. Uh, of course, it's important to go where they have the um, best machines because, of course, uh, the technology is very closely tied to the work that you do as a radiologist. But in fact, I'm going to say that most places can give you access to great technology. What makes us very special here is the as the people that we get to work with. There might be one place that's stronger in this or another place that's stronger in something else. But um, at the end of the day, your classmates, your uh, colleagues in residency, and the faculty with, uh, with whom you work are going to determine um, your quality of life in that program. And so I would say that most definitely the people are the most important uh, part of the picture. Because of these people, um, I am where I am today, uh, literally. And so it's really something that um, I'm very grateful for and something that I think has been extremely important to my career. I think it's a fantastic group of people. Everybody gets along, everybody likes each other, which makes working together a lot easier and a lot more pleasant. But just knowing that you have this group of people who are willing to step up in that way is uh, so helpful and so reassuring, and I think it's what contributes to the sense of family that uh, we foster, and it's from our chair on down. Yeah, so in coming to California from the East Coast culture, it was different in the sense that everyone's a lot more laid back here. Uh, daily going into work, uh, it's a lot more first name basis, and when you sit next to somebody, you don't necessarily know that they're the world's expert because they're just Joe or Sam or Sally sitting next to you and you find out later that they're the only one in the country that does something and they're very unassuming and it's a it's a very comfortable uh, atmosphere. I think Stanford was able to see past the wheelchair to look at me as a person, my qualifications, all this knowledge that I had accumulated in my medicine and GI training and say that the disability wouldn't stand in my way of being a good physician. Um, they thought that, you know, with all my prior experience, that despite the disability, that I would be able to contribute and contribute as much as anybody else. 
and the fact that you're in a wheelchair, we're not gonna let that stand in your way. For me, it's been a dream job. People are, at all levels, are very supportive. It's also not a very hierarchical environment. Everyone is on a first name basis. And you know, if you're a resident and you need to talk to the chairman, you can go and talk to the chairman. Uh, we'll give you an opportunity to become a master in the field, uh, learning from uh, uh, other giants in the field. So you'll be, you'll be uh, on the shoulders of those giants. That we are looking to train the future leaders of the field. We want people who are unafraid to lead. Um, of course, leadership means humility, and we want people who know that leading is hard but who are willing to learn how to lead. And we'll provide you with the tools to learn how to lead here at Stanford. We also want people who are team players. Um, one thing that we value is that the residents are very supportive of each other. The faculty are supportive of each other. The faculty and the trainees are supportive of each other. Uh, it really does take a village to get our work done. And so we really want people who all row together in the same direction to improve patient care. We really value ha developing strong people, not people who just churn reports and get the work done, but care very much about getting it right. And if there's a question that we find we just don't know the answer to, making note of that and doing the work it takes to find the answer to that question. And that, I think, is a skill that will carry you for your entire career. Part of my role is to make sure that everyone in our department is the best at getting better. And we really want to make sure that our trainees graduate with that philosophy in mind. Work is hard. Radiology is hard. Knowing what you need to know to be an outstanding radiologist is hard. You want to work with people who will challenge you to be the best. You don't want the first time you see a difficult case to be out in practice. Stanford does provide those opportunities and it provides faculty who really aim to be at the top of the clinical game and expect their trainees to share in that drive and that passion. These trainees bring so much to the table. They bring a fresh perspective and how things should happen, how things are going to happen in the future. And so I, I feel like not only do I have the um, privilege of imparting knowledge by teaching, but I also have the privilege of learning from all of the trainees that I work with. You know, what really kind of gets me uh, you know, excited to go to work every day really are our trainees too. Uh, you know, this is our way of really contributing to the future uh, by by teaching and training really excellent radiologists who go on to help many, many other people. Um, and plus we have fun doing it.